Hello stock traders, I hope all of you are having a fine Monday morning and in today's video I am going to review this last week's picks and all the different picks that I shared every single pick shared in the Patreon. I'm also going to give you a fresh five stocks that I think will do very well this in the coming week that you should be able to make money on if they fit your own strategies and you like the way the chart looks, so on and so forth. After doing your own due diligence, if you are looking for some good stocks, I think these are some ones that should do very, very well. But before I get going, if you could do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new stock pick video comes out. I do have a Patreon group and every single one of these picks comes from the Patreon group. If you are wanting access to these picks as they happen within the market, then you will want to click on that and check it out. As you are a member of our Patreon group, you will receive and be able to access the private Discord for basic members and above. Okay, so here we go. The very first pick of the week, the very first sale of the week that I had was UAL sold for a 2.95% gain. CBSH sold for a 0.62% gain. RKT sold for a 7.89% gain. MKTW sold for a 0.33% gain. ARCH for an extremely small 0.04% gain. HOUR sold sold for a 7.64% gain. RDBX sold for a 3.70% gain. KOLD sold for a 1.03% gain. ACHR sold for a 30.08% gain. TALS sold for a 5.01% gain. SGH sold for a 1.92% loss. TZ OO sold for a 5.09% gain. BX sold for a 1.18% loss. CYH sold for a 5.5% gain. MSTR sold for a 9.02% gain. BOIL sold for a 21.40% loss. That was a terrible pick. Uh, I made a mistake on that one, definitely. And OPEN sold for a 6.09% loss. So that was 13 of 17 for a win rate of 76.47% average gain per pick of 2.84% over the last five years. I have averaged a 70% win rate with an average gain per pick of 3%. Most of my investments are about three to five days long and my average investments just a little over four days so anyway it was a good week uh definitely looking forward it's getting a little tricky now though as we are heading up towards key resistance let's take a look at the s p 500 spy etf and where we're going as far as this goes okay so if you are looking at the market going into next monday we have cpi coming up this week we have a lot of information and a lot of data hitting the market. Now, if we receive a CPI report and it shows that inflation moved down, if we see like a 7% or an 8% or low eights, I would expect the market to go absolutely crazy. A key level of resistance to keep in very close mind, if you are looking up here at my cursor right here, is right at 416 on the SPY ETF, ticker symbol SPY. And if we get past that, we are looking towards this upper gap. At least I am for an upper gap right at 435. And so I would expect that to be a quick trip up. If we got past this, we could just get past it, come back down, kind of touch it again and keep going forward. Uh, most likely, um, if we pass this, we are looking at the next level where bears will retreat to that next level as they would get squeezed out of their positions. Now, to the downside here, I would say that if we broke and got below 408, getting below 408 is critical support. If we get below 408, then we are probably in for some trouble and we will most likely see a quick trip back down to this 48 EMA, which is right at just below 400. And then there is an open gap down here at 382. If we got a bad CPI report, I could see that happening. Um, I 
think that with commodity prices coming down and how commodity prices fell last month, I'm expecting a weaker CPI. I'm expecting it not to be quite as hot as inflation. It will be really interesting to see how it all plays out. All right, so let's get into this. these five stocks I was talking about at the beginning of the video. These are five stocks I really, really like. Let's start by talking about number five. Number five is ticker symbol OTRK on track incorporated. And this is a securities offered to employees strategy. Now I have found that the different companies that offer the opportunity to buy shares through their 401k plans to their employees really take off, especially if it's a new announcement, something they haven't allowed before. Well, this has happened at on track. And so this is something interesting. Also, they had a they had an offering which is really, really terrible for the price. You can see how it came way down, but we have, um, they had a nice news event here and then it came back down here on the offering. And we formed this nice bottom here and now the offering is closed. So they announced that late on Friday, now expecting a nice move upwards. The very first level of resistance to look at is right at 82 cents. And then beyond that, looking up here at the 48 EMA at $1.15. And then my target price for this is right at 160. I like this right at the 160 at this open gap on the daily chart. And so this is something to watch. This could be a really nice mover. I don't think it's going to go much, much lower than here. It has formed a nice base here. Um, I obviously don't know what's going to happen in the stock market. I'm not a financial advisor. And let me tell you a little secret. A financial advisor doesn't know what's going to happen either. But I like how this is set up. I like for this to have a nice move. There are some real positive buy indicators on this stock along with the closing of the offering. I like this this next week. That offering just closed. And so now that that's closed, we should now start to see this move up finally, especially with shares being offered to their employees and other factors. All right, let's go on to number four. And number four is part of my analyst upgrade strategy. And this has just recently had an analyst upgrade on it. This is ticker symbol F-R-O-G. This is the company JFrog Limited. Now they make software, lots of kids software, stuff like that. But the average analyst target price on this is right at $29.14. And Need him raise the price target from $23 to $30 on this. And uh, this has been moving, but it's got more room to run, in my opinion. I like it for this gap up here to 27. I like this open gap here on the daily chart. We have positive momentum on the 13 EMA being over the 48 EMA. And so for that reason and other buy indicator reasons, I like this for a nice continued move. And I'm expecting this to be kind of a little bit of a slow grind but I am expecting this to get up to its price target, especially if we have great CPI numbers. Uh, this could do very, very well. Anyway, it's one that I am uh, in and I like, and I'm expecting a nice move on it in the coming weeks. All right, let's go. Number three. Number three is also the analyst upgrade strategy. I've been just loving this strategy, having so much fun with it, doing really, really well, really high win rate. And there's a lot of those picks from this last week that were part of the strategy. Uh, the one to note is ACHR was part of this strategy and was able to sell it for a 30% gain. This has really worked out for me and I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, so this is Clever Leaves. And so this is ticker symbol CLV. Are. And Cantor Fitzgerald initiated coverage with a price target of $4.50 this last week. This has been moving nicely. Uh, I was able to enter this uh, right at 90, I think it was at 96 cents. And so this last week, once that was announced, but this has so much further to go. Um, 450 is, you know, obviously way, 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 way up here. This is way, way undervalued. And so I like this stock for a nice, nice move here. And uh, so we should see that. There's a couple different things. We got some MACD divergence stuff that's happening down here. You can see we've had a MACD golden cross down here. Um, and also um, there's some other factors, but I like this price target right up here at 156. 
Uh, 156 is an open gap to the upside and it most likely will hit resistance right there. So I like it for a quick trip this next week, possibly even to that. So that could be this could be a really nice mover going into the next week. All right, let's go to number two. Number two is part of my insider swing play. If you have paid attention to this channel and you know me and know this channel, I love following the insiders. I love following transactions of insiders spending their own money that are managing directors that are part of the company. They know better than anybody else about things that's going on here. And the CEO purchased $5 million worth on Thursday and aftermarket. It was re reported. And this stock has really gone nowhere since that since that came out but we have a nice little cross here where the 13 ema is above the 48 and we just had earnings so now earnings is out of the way liking this for some possible uh some possible analysts to come in and to review it and move up their price targets on it i like it for this move up on this uh on this chart to 26 so 26 is kind of my goal uh that is right at a 20% gain. So like this for a nice move with that insider with that CEO buying that's very, very recent. Um, and so I like this for a continued move upwards. And this should do really well in the coming week. I think this is one that's going to be great. All right. And number one is a PDUFA run up play. Okay. For those that, of you who do not know, a PDUFA run up is a stock that has an FDA decision. It has a PDUFA date. That's because they have paid a PDUFA fee to the FDA to review their drug up for approval. And such a company as this is Heron Therapeutics, ticker symbol HRTX. I like this for a nice move. They have a PDUFA date of September 17th. And I like it to finally run. So we finally had that big volume. I love this volume that we've had here. We have not had a MACD Golden Cross, but we are having some other momentum indicators, so on and so forth. The Williams percentage are and so on and so technical factors. Uh, moving convergence divergence, so the MACD is positive now. So we got all of those things kind of going for us here. And so I like this for just a monster move. Uh, possibly up to 442 up before uh, as we get to this resistance it'll be kind of dicey once we get up here so this is a nice little resistance level that is a nice move up and I'm expecting this next week to be very powerful move on this stock as one thing that you see within this strategy is you'll see an approval on a stock and you'll see everyone sell from an early PUFA strategy and they will rotate into the one they like next. And so, so often that happens with investors. And this could be happening, especially as uh, some of the earlier PDUFAs have run a lot this last week. And so, especially as investors move from one to the other, I expect Heron Therapeutics to be on just about everyone's radar for this uh, moving forward. I wish you all the best in the stock market. Please reach out to me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. And Raytoven out.